Hi guys, I promised in my sermon I would upload a short history of the Nicene Creed and how it was formulated uh, just to help aid our understanding. So here it is. The, the background to the Nicene Creed is, is pretty simple. Basically, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of Jesus' death and resurrection spread across the Roman Empire at this extraordinary rate. In the life and times of Christ, it started in this backwater little town in Palestine, this forgotten area of the Roman Empire. But against all odds and against vicious persecution, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news, spread totally throughout the Roman Empire. In fact, the persecution was so, so uh, entrenched, so enforced in the Roman Empire, there were actually two empire-wide vicious campaigns and they were they were set about to to eliminate to get rid of this this virus that the roman empire called christianity they thought that christianity threatened their very cultured world view and then despite in spite of all that by the year 312 christianity against all odds had conquered the roman empire so much so that the Roman Empire himself, Constantine, claims to have been converted or is converted to Christianity. And so these underdogs find themselves in the very centre of power. And Constantine decides to call together all the church leaders in 325 AD. And he calls them to a place called Nicaea, which is in the north of Turkey, just on the southern shore of the Black Sea. And he calls them all together to really get them to try and decide and formulate what it actually is that Christians believe. Because at this point in time, they've, they've got a bunch of stories. They've got some letters written by Paul. They've got the Hebrew scriptures and they've got some other stuff as well. And so they've got all this various writings and it's, it's pretty chaotic. And they want to try and work out what, what is it? that we all agree on, because lots of little sects are growing up. And ever since then, all Christians everywhere have agreed on the tenets of the Nicene Creed. It's the most extraordinary thing, whether you are Catholic, Orthodox, Anglican, Baptist, URC, Methodist, Salvation Army, whatever you are, we all subscribe to this. Just for the sake of due diligence, there were some little niggles around the wording of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, the Nicene Council had, be, had to reconvene in the year 385 just to sort out those little details. But I think they're really insignificant, unless you're orthodox, but that, that's another issue. The word creed comes from the Latin word credo, which just means I believe. And so here in the Nicene Creed, we have statements that we can all, that we sign up to as established church, as Christianities, tested over time. And the Holy Spirit has worked through and used it, used it. And that's why as a church, we're exploring these foundational principles of who we are in Christ and what we believe in. This is an amazing statement of faith. And I want to encourage you to read it and meditate and pray on it. And I hope that helps give you a little bit of background um, to the Nicene Creed. Enjoy the series.